Hey you guys, this is Michelle Goldstein and you are at Heart Alchemy Yoga on YouTube. Please subscribe to Heart Alchemy Yoga and please like, share and comment on the videos. Let us know how your practice is going. Let us know what you're learning. We love hearing from you. And you can also find us on Instagram and you can find us on Facebook. Um, it's always good to connect with you guys. So um, let's go ahead and get started with our flow today. Come to child's pose. It's a pretty sweet place to start. And really, child's pose represents the, the birth of the practice, doesn't it? The beginning. As you allow your breath to deepen. Let the breath become smooth. And steady. And when you're ready, you'll come up to the hands and the knees. Tuck the toes, press back to downward dog pose. As you continue to breathe yourself here, establish the foundations of your hands and your feet. Flex your thighs. And push up out of the shoulders. And allow the neck to soften as you mindfully move in to your body. Shift forward to plank on an inhale. And we'll pull back to downward dog pose on the exhale. Again, inhale to plank. Exhale to downward dog. And one more time, inhale to plank. Exhale to downward dog. Lift the right leg, inhale. And exhale, step the right foot through to the front of your mat. Be on your fingertips. Feel the right thigh draw back a little bit and engage through the back leg, the left leg. Good. And we'll step up to the top of your space. Left foot meets the right. Lengthen the spine, inhale and fold forward on the exhale. Rise up to stand up, inhale, fold in half on the exhale. Lengthen, inhale, exhale, step back and lower down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Good, left leg lifts on an inhale. Exhale, step all the way through to the front of your mat. Be on your fingertips for a runner's lunge. Feel that left thigh draw back into its hip socket. The right leg strong and engaged. Belly in. And step the right foot up to the front of your mat. Lengthen, inhale, 
hold, exhale. Rise up to stand, inhale. Fold forward on the exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga, make your way back. Lift the right leg again, inhale and step all the way through on the exhale. Take the arms down the ribs now. So you're in a runner's lunge, but you float the arms down your ribs like wings, shoulder blades together onto the back. Belly firm for support. If you want more, you could sweep the arms forward. Be mindful that right thigh hugs back into its hip socket. And come up to crescent pose on the back toes. Sink the right thigh a little. You'll take an inhale here and as you exhale, come back to the start position, belly on the right thigh, arms sweep back behind you. Inhale, come back up to crescent pose. Exhale, belly on the right thigh, arms sweep back. One more time, arms up, crescent pose, inhale. And this time, vinyasa, hands to the mat, step back, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take a cycle of breath. Good. Lift the left leg, inhale. And exhale, step the left foot through to the front of your mat. Good. Float the arms down the ribs, belly in. Left thigh hugs into its socket. If you want more, you can reach the arms forward. You can always change your mind as well. You can try it. If it doesn't work, then take the arms back. And when you're ready, come up to crescent pose. Soften your jaw, soften your gaze. And take an inhale here. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Spine long, inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms sweep back behind you. One more time, inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, the hands down, step to plank, and take a vinyasa from here. Deeply breathing. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, walk or hop the feet up to the front of your mat. Lengthen the spine, inhale. Fold on the exhale. Bend the knees, chair pose, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step back or jump back to chaturanga, your choice. Up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. Right foot steps through, back heel flat. 
warrior one, come up, inhale, and exhale, release to plank, and lower down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog, left foot steps through. Come up, warrior one, inhale, and exhale, let it go, vinyasa. And again, bring your feet to your hands. Lengthen, inhale. Fold, exhale. Bend your knees, chair pose, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog, right foot steps through, warrior one, come up, inhale, and release, vinyasa. And left side, step through, come up, inhale, release to plank, and lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale back, down dog. Again, bring your feet to the front of your mat. Lengthen, inhale, fold in, exhale. Bend the knees, chair pose, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up, exhale back. Right side, step through, warrior one, come up, inhale, and release, vinyasa. And left side, step through, come up, warrior one, and let it go, chaturanga. Just watch the breath. One last round, bring your feet to your hands. Lengthen, inhale, fold, exhale. Bend the knees, chair pose, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to Chaturanga, make your way back. Inhale up. Exhale, down dog, right side. Step through, come up for a breath. And release, plank to Chaturanga. Inhale up, back to dog, left side. Step through, warrior one, inhale, exhale, vinyasa. Good, you guys, lift your right leg, inhale. 
Exhale, step the right foot through, spin the back heel flat. Come up, warrior one. Open up, warrior two. Let's bring the right fingertips down for side angle. We'll come directly in. You could also bring the right elbow to the right thigh if that feels better to you, or use a block. Engage the abdominal muscles. Shoulders down the back. Feel the right thigh sink down. A little more rotation in the upper back. We'll come up to warrior two. Let's spin the left foot out so the feet turn out, the knees bend. You're in temple pose. Let's bring the palms together today in temple. Retract the shoulder heads, sink the hips. Soften your gaze. Feel the thighs draw up into the hip sockets. One more breath. Okay, straighten the legs. Turn back to warrior two. Face the front of your mat. Reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, release the hands down. Step to plank, lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog pose. Left leg lifts up, inhale. Exhale, step through. Come up, warrior one. Open up, warrior two. Left fingertips down or forearm to thigh. Right arm over right ear. Work the back leg strongly. Feel the left hip hug in. Good, come up warrior two. And you'll spin the right foot out. Feet turn out. Palms together in front of your heart. If it's helpful, you can close your eyes. Just dial in. This is just taking some quiet time for yourself. Straighten the legs, turn back, warrior two, and then reverse warrior, inhale, exhale, release, and lower. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. <clears throat> Deeply breathing. When you're ready, bring your feet to the front of your mat. Lengthen, inhale. Fold, exhale. Inhale, rise up to stand. As you exhale, you'll wrap the left arm under the right arm for eagle. Bend the knees and stack the left leg up and over the right for eagle pose. Sit the hips low. You can even start to <clears throat> you can even start to fold forward a little bit. Keep your sense of humor. <laughs> and just another breath here. 
We'll unwrap the pose and come to standing split. Extend the left leg back. Flex the feet. Flex the thighs. Shoulders away from the ears. And step the left foot straight back behind you. Sweep the arms down the ribs, just like before. Interlace the fingers behind the back, lengthen your spine, and then fold into Humble Warrior. Let the head drop. Good, and you're just taking quiet time for yourself. You breathe here, listen to what your body is telling you. And come up, warrior one pose. Open to warrior two. Straighten the right leg. Lengthen forward, come in for triangle pose. Get space around your neck. Come up to warrior two, bend the right knee, soften into it. Work the back leg strongly. Release the hands down. Step to plank. Bring the feet together. Roll to the outer left foot. Reach the right arm up for side plank. The right hip comes up and over just a little bit so the hips are level. Push the floor away from you and then release the right hand down. Lower down to Chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Good. Now you'll step the right foot up to the front of your mat and press the right leg as straight as you can. Stay on the back toes. Grab blocks if they help you. Flex the thighs. Right hip hugs in, which means it's not collapsing out behind you or collapsing out to the side. Space around the shoulders, space around the neck. And then step up to the top of your space. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Come all the way up to stand. Sweep the arms up. Now as you exhale, you'll wrap right arm under the left. Bend the knees. Right leg up and over the left leg. And today, let's fold in. Let's try it, something a little different. You'll come up a little bit, make your way into standing split, fold forward, grab blocks if they help you. Lots of deep breath, just a real meditative practice today.
and step the right foot straight back. I'm gonna take the arms down the ribs. So it's like warrior one legs, arms down the ribs, shoulder blades together, and then fold forward into humble warrior. Sink the left hip. Relax your neck. Come up, warrior one. Open to warrior two. And now straighten the left leg. Triangle pose, lengthen into it. Make sure that left leg is in an external rotation. It's important. Back leg strong. And up to warrior two. Good, release the hands down. Step to plank, bring the feet together. Roll to the outer right foot. Reach the left arm up. Hips up. One more breath here. Okay, release the left hand down. Lower down to Chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale back. Downward dog. Okay, step the left foot through to the front of your mat. Work the left leg straight, stay on the back toes. Lengthen your spine. Step the right foot up to the front of your space. Lengthen, inhale, fold on the exhale. Rise up to stand up, inhale. Palms meet at the heart on the exhale. Good, okay. We're going to work in two tree pose from here. So stand on your right leg and come to tree with the left foot. Simple, meditative. Filled with breath. Feel the leg you stand on engage, like gently so that it's not too abrupt, so you can maintain the balance. Relax your face. Good, and then from here we'll slide the left ankle over the right thigh, bend the right knee for half chair. Flex the left foot. Okay. 
can come on up. And we'll switch sides, simple. Stand on the left leg, right foot to tree pose. Mind aligned with the breath. Mind aligned with the moment. Right ankle cross over the left thigh. Flex the right foot, bend the left knee. Come up, feet together, palms together in front of your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, step to plank and lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale back, down dog. Okay, so for our back bend today, let's do camel. Lower the knees down. Stand up on the knees. And with the hands on the hips, lengthen the tailbone down. Bring the shoulder blades together onto your back. Lift the heart up. And then maybe slide the hands down. Maybe reach back for your heels. One more breath, open it up, and then come on up, and you'll sit all the way down onto your bottom. And let's set up for double pigeon. So you'll take the right leg along the floor first, flex the right foot, knee bent, left ankle over the right, thigh, over the right knee, left knee over the right ankle, okay? So you can pull the fleshy part of your bottom out of the way to create space. If your left knee is up high, that's fine. Just chill with that and enjoy it. If you're good right here, just chill with that and enjoy it. And for those of you that want more, maybe you fold forward. And keep your mind on your breath. Do a scan of your body and just notice where can I release tension. Where can I relax more? And then relax more. Okay, come on up, and we'll switch sides. So you'll take the left shin or the left leg on the floor, right ankle stacks on top of the left knee, right knee stacks on top of the left ankle, the feet flex strongly. You can stay here, the left side and right side are totally different. 
So be present. I like to come forward onto the sitting bones regardless. And then those of you that want to fold can fold in. Okay, come on up and come to sit with your legs straight in front of you. Again, come forward onto your sitting bones, reach the arms up and fold forward for Paschimottanasana. Okay, then roll yourself up. And I'm going to teach shoulder stand and plow. So check it out. For those of you that don't like to do these poses just for any reason, you could lay with your legs up the wall at home, or you could lie with your sacrum on a block and lift your legs up from there. If you are practicing these poses, make sure that you keep your neck straight so you don't want to turn your head from side to side once you're putting your body weight onto your neck, right? So let's come into plow first. Feet to the floor over your head. Walk the shoulder blades together onto your back and you can support your low back with your hands. Keep a little space between your chin and your chest. And if you've got a ponytail in the way, make sure you move it because <laughs> we really want to have space in the neck. Nothing, if you feel anything back there, you need to move it. And then when you're ready, support the back with the hands for sure here. Lift the legs up. Lots of space in the neck. With this introspective practice, this quiet time with yourself, just notice if anything comes up for you of interest in your mind. And let, let it go for now. And then you'll lower yourself all the way down onto your back. Shavasana. If you need anything else, you can certainly do that. When you're ready, you'll come onto your back to rest and allow your body to integrate the benefits of the work you just did.
stretch your arms and legs. Hug your knees in and roll onto your side. And press yourself up to a comfortable seat, whatever that means to you. Allow your eyes to close. And allow your body to reverberate with a sense of calm. Allow every cell in your body to be calm, awake, but calm and quiet, gentle. Clear. Bring your palms together in front of your heart. This practice truly is a healing balm. May our practice help us to become calmer, kinder, more gentle and awake humans. May we learn to teach peace by example. Lift your heart Bow your head. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. This is Michelle Goldstein. You're at Heart Alchemy Yoga on YouTube. Please subscribe to Heart Alchemy. Let us know how your practice is going. You can comment on this video, and we love that. You can share, like the videos. And you can find us on Instagram and find us on Facebook as well. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.